CompTIA Network Plus N10-009 Practice Exam. Questions 6 through 10. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 6. A network administrator needs to provide temporary network access for guests while ensuring they authenticate before gaining full connectivity. Which of the following technologies would best facilitate this process? The answer is C. Captive Portal. A captive portal provides web-based authentication, requiring users to log in or accept terms before accessing the network. It is commonly used for guest Wi-Fi in businesses, hotels, and public hotspots. The portal enforces authentication, tracks usage, and restricts access based on predefined policies. Users are redirected to a login page where they must accept terms before gaining full access. This helps maintain security and control over temporary users without requiring long-term credentials. Question 7. A single user is unable to access a website because the provided URL is resolving to the wrong IP address. Other users can navigate to the site without issue. Which of the following is most likely the cause? The answer is C. Host file has been modified. The host file is a local text file that maps domain names to specific IP addresses. If this file has been modified with incorrect entries, it can override normal DNS resolution and cause the URL to resolve to the wrong IP address. Since the issue affects only one user, it is likely this is a local configuration problem, such as the host file, rather than a network-wide issue. Question 8. A cloud service provider hosts multiple organizations on a shared infrastructure, while keeping their data and resources isolated from one another. This approach allows cost savings and resource efficiency, while ensuring each organization's applications remain independent. Which of the following concepts best describes this model? The answer is in A. Multi-tenancy. Multi-tenancy is a cloud architecture where multiple customers, referred to as tenants, share the same infrastructure while maintaining data and resource isolation. This design optimizes resource utilization and lowers costs by allowing multiple organizations to use the same hardware and software environment. Each tenant's data and configurations remain secure and separate through the use of virtualization and access controls. Multi-tenancy is a key feature of modern cloud computing, ensuring scalability and efficient management of computing resources. Question 9. A network technician needs to remotely access a network appliance that has failed to boot properly and is unresponsive to standard network connections. Which of the following methods should be used? The answer is D. Out-of-band management. Out-of-band management provides a dedicated independent access path to network devices, allowing administrators to troubleshoot and recover systems that are unresponsive to standard network connections. This is typically achieved using serial console servers, remote management interfaces, or a separate management network. It ensures access even when the primary network is down or the device has failed to boot properly. Question 10. A security analyst is investigating an attack where a malicious packet with multiple VLAN tags was used to bypass network segmentation. Which of the following attack types was most likely used? The answer is B. VLAN hopping. VLAN hopping is an attack where a malicious packet is crafted with multiple VLAN tags to gain unauthorized access to traffic from different VLANs. This is typically done using switch spoofing or double tagging techniques. Proper switch configuration including disabling unused trunk ports and enforcing VLAN access controls can help mitigate this form of attack. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.